Hi, having spent 38 years in the business world, let me share some tangible takeaways from my journey. I've seen many changes in the entrepreneurial ecosystem from trends, buzzwords, and methodologies to business influencers and thinkers that wax and wane in popularity. So with the benefit of learning compounded over time, let me mention five key business principles that stand the test of time. Uh, number one, be not afraid to be slow and steady. I've met hundreds of remarkable entrepreneurs over the years. Aside from passion, most have one trait in common, a relentless desire to accelerate. I understand it, I have experienced it, the landscape of business, media, and culture doesn't help our internal dialogues. It sometimes feels as if every entrepreneur is exploding with overnight growth, making headlines at every turn. We forget that Walmart's overnight success came after more than 20 years of slow growth, or Amazon's amazing profits came after nearly a decade of astounding losses, and correlating investment. The reality is less newsworthy and much less flashy, yet impressive. The majority of business successes take years of consistent behind the scenes hard work to get where they wanna be. I have seen businesses trying to grow too fast and quickly hit a wall. They overextend financially and operationally and burn out. It's not sustainable and it usually leads to a downward spiral. Consistent, steady growth based on repeatable and sustainable processes that enable a scale will lead to long-term success. We have seen how market has flipped in the last three years. The digital hills have given ground to old economy tortoises. Firms that were once derided as obsolete and sluggish have emerged from their shelves with a surprising spring in their step. Second, a small detailed matter. The Battle of Hastings in 1066 was lost because of one small detail, a nail. You know what Benjamin Franklin wrote about it in 1758, about 700 years later? So his immortal words go like this, so for want of a nail, the shoe was lost, for want of a shoe, the horse was lost, for want of a horse, the rider was lost, for want of a rider, the battle was lost, for failure of battle, the kingdom was lost, all for want of a horseshoe nail. So as you can imagine, the small nail that held the shoes of the horses were neglected and as a result, the battle was lost. The parable I am using may seem far-fetched, but I can cite many disasters, many battles, many business disasters where little actions not taken, small details postponed, led to catastrophes. We may not see the immediate impact, but over time details make a big difference. They speak to our commitment to quality, integrity, and seeing things through in full and in earnest. The small things build trust and credibility over time. Third, build solid, efficient, scalable systems. As a child, my grandfather said something interesting in our small town by the banks of a river. He would say that if he built a six-foot levee and the water rose to seven feet, the whole town would flood and we would have wasted everything spent on the levee. Alternatively, if we built an eight-foot levee and the water rose to seven feet, we would have wasted what was spent on the incremental foot. But the town would be safe and no one would care about that additional expense. So there have been a number of permutations of this lesson throughout my career in life. For example, if we built a 20-foot levee where water had never risen above six feet in the last hundred years, we didn't do our homework and were simply being wasteful. And then, on the other hand, building a foundation which could support a 20-foot levee may be valuable when building an eight-foot levee. Build efficient systems, but first take a step back so that you can understand the problem from every angle before you start building a solution. 
Frequently, significant increases in capacity for the future require only minor increases in investment at the beginning of a project, but are cost prohibitive years later. Systems that can't scale with a business lead to wasted time, money and effort, and they're often the difference between success and failure. Fourth is about your perspective. Your perspective speaks volumes. You have heard the story in ancient Rome, three workers were building a wall. A passerby asked what they were doing. The first worker replied, I am laying bricks. The second worker said, I am building a wall. The third worker, however, said, I am building the world's most beautiful cathedral where people will come to worship God. So all three were doing the same job, but their perspectives were different. But the third worker saw his task in relation to its impact on the world. That was all. So keep the big picture in mind, but frame that picture with the impact you make on the world. When you do that, then a small details, frustrations and difficult moments will suddenly be worth living through. Perspective shapes our actions and desires and decisions. It determines how we see ourselves as individuals, the work we are doing and the people we impact in the process, the difference we make in the process. And the fifth and the last eternal truth of entrepreneurism is uh, to me, do you want to go fast or go far? So there's a proverb from my beloved Africa that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And that's the power of collaboration. Success seldom happens in isolation. It's always the result of teamwork and collaboration. That's is a key principle that never goes out of trend. Not in the Stone Age, not in the Digital Age, not will it be out of times in the age of AI. So always seek ways to partner with others and create synergies. You will achieve more. Thank you very much and best of luck.